Hello everybody, welcome back in. So I've done my scanning and we ended up right in Novaria to go check out this Cerberus, what was it, Cerberus fighting? Yep, fighter base, okay. So we might as well land back on Novaria, see how things have changed, check out what's going on over here, and then we have to go to the Citadel because uh, Udin is being shady. Do I not have a squad? Okay, I have a squad. Uh, when was the last time I took Edie somewhere? I took you to Janka. Uh, let's bring James. Scooch you to the side a little bit. All right, I'm good. James. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, Claymore's fine. Edie. Okay. Five points. We want to increase ammo capacity by 30, increase headshot damage by 25. want to incapacitate weaker organic enemies for a short duration, increase recharge speed by 25%. Do this. And James, we can do nothing with you. So yes, we have to head back to the Citadel after Commander, this. the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have Can visual do. contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Let's go. I trust you, Cortez. Oh, Novaria. So many memories. It's where we first met the Rachni. Commander, you'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Keep an eye out. Oh, there's already center. enemies. Multiple co Okay. Done. Gotcha. I cannot see over. Oh, it's because of. It's because of that. Can I please get a. Alright. We want to. Okay, that's locked in there. I'm gonna put this here. And I cannot peek out from where I am. that happens because they're literally right in front of you sometimes and that was rude. Roger that. Yes. Yeah. Doing it now. Right. Oh. A lot of people in here. Okay. Yeah. 
welcoming committee is down for the count, Commander. Looks like we found the control center. One second before I go and mess with things. No one's on the map. I guess I could go ahead and mess with this and then make my way around. Damn it. This'll take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Ah, uh, assign Edie. Edie, front and center. As you command. That makes the most ready, sense. Commander. You're going to get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Morning, morning. are no longer possible, Shepard. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. I'm on it. Shutdown requires the synchronous command. Okay. Defense system deactivated. General order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Cerberus is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. And that's where we need to go. Okay, uh, weekly processing report. All on-base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols updated successfully, okay? the nemesis. Understood. Affirmative. We're a little confused. Cortez here. We're trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Give it everything you've got. Ah, they're at. Um, Theus. <laughs> Anyone wounded? 
wounded? Negative, Shepard. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Okay. That was fairly quick. I guess we succeeded in our mission. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, Always sir. Do. That's Always do. Always am. Out. Okay, now that we have taken care of that, next order of business is to head to the Citadel and see what our least favorite person, Udina, is up to. Maybe not our least favorite person. Never seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. True. Maybe not our least favorite Commander, person, but he's definitely like in the top five. Private terminal. Commander. All right, Hope lives from, aw, Bakara, hi. Commander, I'm writing you from the Kelpic Valley on Tachanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They're all, they've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can and us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard in nearly 2,000 years. There is a reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. Man, I have serious dry throat right now. But all is with her name. Okay, check in with Joker Edie. I might have to adjust that camera because it seems to have gotten off kilter Damn, from where it normally is. To shoot right now. Okay, pick a target. Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normandy will need maintenance before the year is out. If we live that long, I will totally spring for it. <laughs> All right, one second, I need to move that up. Okay, I think that semi fixed the problem I was seeing. So let us, Has that ring of light always been there? It looks different now. Okay, Citadel. We have to go meet with the Solarian counselor. Figure out what our buddy has been up to. Also, finally found a rune. So now we do have the book to give to the Volus. If it lets us choose, we might stop by the Presidium first. I don't know if it's going to force us to go straight and meet with the Solarian Dignitary. Counselor. Yeah. Yep, forcing us to meet with the Counselor. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Oh no. Of course. What the hell's going on down oh. there? Even if Let's there were a station this. malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him okay. through. See, uh, the 
Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere, and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. How did they manage that? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Edie. Want to bring the OGs for this one. All right, we should be good on all of this. Uh, points, nothing for Garrus. Uh, let's put this into warp. 40% damage, 60% duration. Weapon damage taken by target, 15%. And 15% for power damage on target. Let's do this. And nothing for Shep, nothing for Garrus. See, Seth? to me because just how big the citadel is it's just insane that Cerberus could just walk in take down CSEC and go after the counselors like you would think they would have more security but then again Udina so if they have a man on the inside who knows Bailey Okay, people! Coming in hot! Get to cover! On it! Oh, they better not have gotten Bailey. I need to get that. Put that in its place. Go ahead and get rid of this. Or are you dead? You might be dead. Are we good? Hold up, Bailey. Need to check my corners. Are you okay? One second, Bailey. I promise you I care about your health. I apologize. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in CSEC's flying blind without the network. All right, let's go. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. We'll make sure they don't.
Here we go, CSAT network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What Hi. have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Okay. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. Mm. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The Counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does no, he even not. have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The Counselor. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. All right. Let's go save the Counselor, hopefully the Executor. Say, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. So whatever was going on, they had actual evidence to start prosecuting Udina. around here. Oh. Thought that was a person. It's not. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Ah, uh, cryptid emergency message from Commander Bailey to all officers. Cerberus attack in progress. All hands on deck. Entry wounds in the back of the head. Looks like a surprise, not an execution. We've got hardcore traders here. Same as Mars. Cerberus likes their sleeper agents. Security doors have been sealed for your protection. Oh, it's sprinklers. Okay. No, you're not. You're not doing anything. I was just coming around to the idea of okay we need to go that way so coming around of the idea of actually working with Udina without too many complaints all right this is an assault rifle so we're just gonna leave it be Cerberus didn't even drag him out into the hall mm. I was never going to like him but I could at least stomach with working with him I 
we'll get a door. Get that. Alright, weapon spent. I guess we can check the mods on the assault rifles really quick. Wait, nope, go back. That changes capacity a little bit. Right, save the lamp for a minute. Any survivors in there? None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. Good old fashioned elevator ride. Anybody got anything to say? Oh no, did we leave Liara? Oh no, she was behind me. Richview! Lamont! You alive? Could oh, these were his friends. Alert everyone. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure will. I had forgotten for a minute that he was seasick. Alright, Bailey. Warn Hurt that if he doesn't fill out his reports properly, I'm kicking his ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Reschedule a meeting with customs analysts about cargo weight discrepancies over the last year. Don't let him wriggle out of this again. Uh, reports of undesirables getting on the station illegally. Have biometric systems calibrated again. Kick her sorry ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. I guess he didn't fill out his reports. Right. Go that way. Alright, we've got another weapon. We've got door control. Uh, we're supposed to go that way, so one second. Alright, we've got a Talon. Uh, from a Sergeant Shaw to Captain Mao. I brought up that number from evidence so that you could see for yourself. We caught the slug who was assembling it in one of the Tower 110's bathrooms. He got it past detectors and pieces, metal barrel in the hollowed out Omnitool Ezo in one of the Sizen toothbrushes. The rest was plastic or ceramic. No gang ink on him. He was in a sport coat like most of the male employees of Tower 110. His ID was manufactured. He's got a record that dates back to when his Metacard was issued, but before that, nothing. This is way beyond coincidence. This is a pro assassin. He's not alone. We've got people smuggling talons all over the station. Patrol knows it. Organized crime knows it. To the major, you hit a steel wall. There, where's internal affairs when you need them? Why can't we get them to open an investigation on customs? You would not get away with this blind eye business if this were LA or Hong Kong. Uh, the Major says he's not going to screw over good police because of one nut with a pistol, but it isn't just one. Ask the executor this. If this is the stuff we're catching, what is slipping by, Shaw? Alright, so they've been smuggling weapons in to prepare for this for a while. Gotta be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late.
All right, piercing mod. Let's hope the executor's okay. Counselor, more importantly, but executor as well. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Gotcha. See anything, Garrus? Tactical cloak for the win. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Who are you? Oh, wait, this was the guy with the elusive man. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Udiva, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. Someone just shoot him. No. No, it's fun. Yes! Okay. Come on, Thane. I know you're dying of a terminal illness, but you got this. A sword. Ooh. Okay, minor respect. It's the future and we're fighting in space, but he's using a sword. Gotta respect the classics. Someone shoot him. Fate. What? Oh, don't tell me that's how he dies. Everyone's such a bad shot in these cutscenes. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Udina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. We're just gonna leave him there? They're taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. And he had just come to peace with, like, dying... Uh, on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. Just being out of the fight and dying peacefully. I'm gonna kill you, sir. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. All right, that's there? good at least. Shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Dean is with them. If you can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way.
explosive gears? You got it. I got that for you. Use it. Be appreciative of my gifts. There's still someone right here. They don't like to hold still. How dare you? Let's find the wannabe they ninja. Behind them. This way. I wanted to see more of the citadel, but uh, not like this. Got credits. Uh, that is not the way to go. Here we go. Course. I'm at Shelmar Plaza. Where's the council? In an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle. Hold on. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great. Ah, of course he is. Who is right over here? Can I not get a lock on this guy? Oh, I'm a little bit confused. Where did the Atlas go? I mean, I guess I can't complain. It took care of the issue for me, but that was weird. Okay. Did not see what happened there. Someone shoot him. I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. I mean, I guess I have been missing Don't elevator that rides. Hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. <laughs> nice. That's got to be annoying. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Oh wait, that didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, what? Come on. Liara. Hang on, I think I can overload his car. That's more there like we it. go. I hope it helped. It's not Good gonna work ready. twice. Incoming phantoms. Oh, 
up. Can I get a lock on that, please? Ooh. I'm on it. Got it. No. Uh, okay. Shepard, Gotta be another one. Bad news. Is there any other About kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! From where? Jump? Jump. What was that? Gunman, Ash. get down! Ash, it's friendlies, come down. Go! Blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Shove it. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We're not we don't have time Ash. to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. Yeah. We don't have Imagine time to debate that. this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Come on, Ash. This. No, you're not. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this. Someone shoot him. Gun! I'll do it. Get the council back and cover that door. I've been waiting to do that since the first game. The door! Bailey. Oh, okay. Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus oh. was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Again. And you've saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. And where are you going? Yes. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Try me. Who uses the sword in space? You're just trying to look cool. 
I can't say anything. Shepard's a terrible shot in those cutscenes. So is Thane. He's an assassin. You were at point blank range with we this man. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Okay. Apparently, uh, there's complications. What Do you think I'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. Mm. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. All right. Thanks, Bailey. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. <laughs> Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Could this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. Mm. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. Mm. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. Oh, come on. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. <laughs> yeah, you too, Shepard. All right, Bailey. I'll leave you to it. Let's go check Udina's office. Oh, come on. I should be allowed in here. This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our codebreakers aren't getting anywhere. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel system's integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample the ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. Okay, you guys are new. I'll find your ciphers. Uh, check the... In I was about to say Inquisition's office. Requisition's office really quick. All right, we've got civilian deportation order. Commander Bailey has requested assistance with a con man who is preying on refugees. The man has exploited loopholes in his delay of his arrest. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to immediately deport the con man from the Citadel. Who is the con man, though? I guess authorize. Okay, Citadel Defense Force has changed. For better or for worse, though. I wish I could check that whenever, like, with my Omni tool, but I guess I have to go back to the ship for that. 
All right, let's see My how much has changed. Active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course, you're a Neota spouse, correct? I, yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. It's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I, I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Am I in your way? I guess so. They hit where? An Elcor. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Diver 2. Do we have any AI enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet and Asari worlds will keep burning. I mean, we could get it from Bryson's office. He still had Reaper tech. What's going on here? Thank you again, Earth Clan. Okay, we've heard from him. Okay. Let's hit up the hospital and then we'll make... I need to check the, um, Presidium... Not Presidium. The Citadel map, actually, and see who's where right now. Because maybe people have moved. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Bane's here. Okay, Joker and Cortez are in purgatory. Uh, there's an angry accountant. Oh, he needed the book from Arun. Uh, Kelly and James. Okay. No, I'm seeing it here too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a moon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. Okay, I will find your stuff. The Asari Revere alone. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a fame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. I will find your rings. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, <sighs> idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Ayra. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. Color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I, I don't can think do. so. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, honey. You don't need a gun. You need some medication and a lot of rest. Anyone There's new? got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Okay, and we're picking up all types of new things that we have to find and bring back. Doctor. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. Mm. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. Mm -hmm. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. 
We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Yeah. Hey, get Commander out. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. See ya. I'm afraid I've picked a bad time to leave. You couldn't disappoint me, Thane. Not even now. Such pleasant things from your lips. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Breathing is difficult. I see ya. It will be soon. I need to know if the Counselor survived. Yep. Yes, Father. Three are alive thanks to you and Shepard. Udina? He instigated it. He is dead. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Sure. Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira. And she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Koyat. Why did the last verse say she? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Bye, Thane. Meet you across the sea. Come on! We just lost Morden. Now Thane's gone. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. 
And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations, to get more supplies, for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. There you go, solutions. I understand can't believe Bane's gone. Busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poisoned blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts. Lost Morden. Now Thane's gone. Nicoliet's still in there. <sighs> Let's check the other lib. Blah. Can't even talk right now. Let's check the other levels of the Citadel. Catch up with our friends. See what else we pick up. We have so much that we now have to do that I guess I have to go find. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Uh, let's One go to Purgatory. Moment, also, right before we stepped in with Thane, the camera died and it wouldn't let me do anything besides load when we first got to the Citadel. So I went and did everything now that we did before. Level, I accidentally accessed the Spectre computer where you buy things instead of the other one where you can authorize stuff. And apparently I missed heating stabilizers somewhere. I mean, I bought them, but I don't know where I missed them at. But we have those now. You do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. I mean, I guess that makes sense as to why there's more Elcor here now. Their planet finally fell. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, hmm. I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. It's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Okay. The Alliance Marines are all gone. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha has sacred texts on the ways of the Huntress, the defining works on the art of battle. The Nimbus Cluster has already fallen, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. I will find your stuff. Arya, anything new from you? Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. Is there anything on your mind? Uh, nothing new from we'll you. We'll talk later. I'm sure. All right, where are my boys? All right, Joker and Cortez should be over here. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. Hmm. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Oh. What about you and me? What? You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh... I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. None taken. Forget it. So, you and Edie. Well, yeah. What do you think? I think you should go for it. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? She's That's a robot. always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. 
Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken <laughs> heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Where's Cortez at? supposed to be at the lower bar. Jack, what? How long have you been here? Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They got us spread out across alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. <laughs> Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Because yeah. I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Yeah, take care of your kids. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wave. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> oh, there's the ED. I wonder why it said lower bars. Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Or drive. No. <laughs> Not the Shepard shuffle. She really can't, though. Especially can't drive. Yeah. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. I'm proud of you. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Nothing for work. Nothing for me, Edie. What you got? Oh, there you are. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. Sure. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. That's debatable. They apparently don't have Novarian rum. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. Aww. For everything. Cortez. All right. I'll see you back on the Normandy. Sounds good, buddy. I will leave you all to your partying. We have more levels to look at. Anyone to talk to? Nope. All right. We've got more things to check out. And we can't forget that we do have to go help Arya out at Omega. All right, let's head to the commons. We'll check the shops. Uh, we did pick up those heating stabilizers. I wonder where I missed those at.
Yeah, it doesn't really matter because we have them. Nope, something's still on fire, smoking. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues had legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this a classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that can help us, even today. I will find this for you. It's my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. You won't Thank need you. your Have money you if you die. Have or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. Besides, how can some place like Sanctuary promise more safety than the Citadel? You're right. I guess all we can do is hope for the best. I want to learn more about this Sanctuary place. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. All right. Anything we may want? Elkos Combine. If it Arcan exists, mods, we carry pistol. it. Thank you. You guys don't Come carry again. fish. Welcome to Kanala Exports. I've been looking for you. You are mine now. We appreciate your visit. Oh, best purchase of the entire game. I now have jellyfish. Can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. Oh. Interesting. We should probably go look at that. Spectre terminal updated. And the map was updated. Courtyard. Okay, there's someone. Oh, I think he's the one who needs the heating stabilizers. There's a nurse here that we can also see. Anything going on up here? No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a Cacliosaur. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd okay. be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. I mean, if we can bring back the Rachni, we can bring back whatever that is. With everything going on, I wonder if it's worth listening to a little bit of Blasto. Blasto, you always know how to make a girl feel better. Okay. Let's make rounds, more rounds, talk to people. Damn it, another server's trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Anything to help. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody. Killing him won't bring anyone back. 
It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Okay. So much going on. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your tent. All right. Anything else from you? The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatched after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. More kids named Shepard. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Paladin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Ooh. He's not wrong, but also he's not wrong. You guys do need to find this terrorist, though. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. All right, Renegade went up. Oh, you're right. What's up with you? Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Nah. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. You are better than this? Let me do it legally? Huh. Tell me what this guy did to deserve death. He executed his own friends in cold blood for Cerberus. Cleared the path for their troops. Now he's saying he's a vet. And he was suckered in by talk of helping humanity. I don't know what intel he has, and I don't really care either. He dishonored the uniform. We do need that intel, though. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. All right. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Sure. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Okay. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll look into this for you. Rules condemned. The people have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take them to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. Yeah, that's people true. We don't know who's scared. who right if now. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. 
Maybe if the Council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just... I just want people to be safe. I know, but second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Okay. That That'd could work. Something. Welcome to Agor Munitions. So much is going on right now. Ultralight -like materials. Please obey all local government Ooh. restrictions when purchasing protective equipment. Uh, high velocity barrel. Our customer service specialists are always interested in purchasing new technology. See this. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Shepard. Oh, Liara. Nice to see you. Nothing. I this place. I mean, it's on fire again. At least there are messed up places everywhere. Hades Nexus is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. It's not the off limits to me. It's supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. I will find these things for you, General. Are you just hanging out? The scene contains large scorch marks. Looks like three fatalities. Entire area shot to hell. Precision shots. I heard the guest use Janet. Oh, so many things to pick up. Your stonewalling me? Those bids could be vital to the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you're doing. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the bids. Just give him the bids. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Councilor I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attack the Citadel. Nobody else. You've got my word on it. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Okay. Now that we've looked around this area, let me actually run back to where Barlow was and see. You'd be shocked. Gorix wanted for six bodies. Six. Killed both humans and materials. He found his own people? Okay, that's the guy that's at the hospital right now. I think that's where he is. I need to go see the angry accountant because I think he's the one that needed the thing off a of rune. Or he might be with this nurse. That might be where he is. We've been there. Daily spec terminal. Okay. Yes, okay, here it is. I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You Where may they? help my people remember themselves. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people All right. are still afraid, but they are remembered. So now that we've done that. Recognized. Let's check out. Please. Was there anything in the Normandy docking bay? I should have checked the map before I clicked on it. We'll make a run through anyway because we're picking up side missions left and right from just walking around now people. At docking bay D24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. No the Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zano. It's a low gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. Cerberus You'll be expected to maintain full survival Council. here. Any questions? Oh. Are we playing security, Sergeant Colony? No, Private. We are not. Alright, we didn't get anything out of that. 
Oh, this is who's talking. Sometimes I can't tell. Ma'am, I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Valhallen threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the crucible. I will get yes. this for you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Y yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. We picked up one thing from here. So now let us head out to the cargo bay where all the refugees are. Spectre status recognized. Please holding no, area. Please. And then we'll make our way back to the Spectre Requisitions office and look at what's popped up there. Because we have two things that have popped up in the approval section. Where we can now authorize things. Docking bay E24. Emergency civilian Council housing. needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. Just let him in. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vast, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Sure. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Okay. I'm sorry, but that's not quite what I had in mind. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Yeah, we're happy he's dead. Oh yeah, there's the nurse. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorak? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Yeah, of course. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. <sighs> I destroyed Aratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Pah! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. <laughs> You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. I did try. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <sighs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Alright, simple enough. I can do this for you. Oh. <laughs> Bad person needed to die anyway. <laughs> Okay, so much going on. Excellent. That will really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be enough footage. Come meet me again when you're able. 
I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted what? CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. All right, I what do I do about this? Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot. Yeah, Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. Oh. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, that worked out for the better. That was such an odd choice to have there. I'm glad we just picked it for the sake of being safe. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel All right. And I've got some I can't go this way. About Cerberus down. No, I've contacted Cerberus. Where's this person? Be the Batarian guy. Definitely wouldn't be the Batarian, right? Yeah, it wouldn't be him. What are you doing? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for them here. I guess this is where they took evacuation of all students. Look, if anyone bothers you, let me know. I'll take care of you, okay? Sure thing, sir. Thanks. Ah, oh, poor kid. Yeah, I don't think they're coming back. James, where are you at? Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. <laughs> you just gonna stand there and watch? I mean, nothing's happening. You're making me nervous, Commander. All right, just don't lose. Don't expect me to give you money if you do lose. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. Okay. Past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. I can find these things. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. Good. All right. Wait a minute. Day two. Okay, when did Conrad get here? Definitely didn't notice it the first time I opened the map, or any of the other times. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. I'm gonna hit him. Oh, for the love of them. Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. You're an idiot. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Yeah. Just, I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. Oh, so now they correct that. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No. Yes. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I might be able to help you with uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reapers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. What? Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. 
Ah, oh, come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, <laughs> he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Okay. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Hey! Uh, yes, yes it would. First okay, game called it's auto translating. Back. Let's see. Oh no, the technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? Did I ever do that? How did you even? Well, this hey, is we did great. do that. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here, not touching anything. Please do that. But hey, obsessing over side missions in the first game paid off. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah, he was doing well until the Reapers attacked. Ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No, you did the right thing. Thanks. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Listen, can I ask you something though? Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? We'll eh. defeat them or we'll die trying. There's no other option. Yeah, okay. Listen, another question. Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? You just asked me that, Conrad. Sorry. I like to ask all the questions I can think of, and sometimes I forget which ones I've asked already. Okay. I should go. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What, what happened to your, your wife? wife? Mm. Uh, uh, do you even sense? have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no, but see... Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I am going to be very unhappy. <laughs> it's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. Gah! Conrad! Shouldn't you go repair that medical station? I mean, people are dying, right? Shouldn't uh... you go repair that medical station? I mean, people are dying, Conrad. right? Conrad! Oh, there's just so much wrong with you. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. It's just a poster with some candles that's tasteful. Oh, sir. So many issues. Where exactly do I repair the medical station at, though? Anything Shouldn't else? You go repair that medical station? I mean, people are dying. All right, I'll get to it. I can't believe it. Status recognized. Please select a destination. Where did I need to go? Oh, um, embassies. At least they finally corrected the fact that we did not point a gun at him in the first game. And me being obsessive about side missions paid off, because we have the Matriarch's writings. And I had the Elkos. What was it? I had that. Yeah. All the forms are requested and jump through every hoop. I don't even know where Neota is, and I'm going to be deployed soon, too. Everyone's been called back to active duty since Earth was attacked. I understand, but... I can't leave my daughter here alone. I need to send her back to Thessia, to her family. These things are very complicated, and usually take a very long time. It's even worse with everything going on right now. I'm very sorry. If you can't accept a fostering by proxy until her file is processed, there's nothing more I can do. Hmm, that's terrible. Okay. Let's check requisitions. Also, let me check this again and just make sure we didn't accidentally bypass something else. Doesn't look like it though. 
Oh, so much going on here. Okay, Batarian access codes, Spectre level access codes, it is possible to bypass standard security protocols and track top level diplomatic dispatches. Location of consoles access using uh, suspect ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for. Okay, let's do that. Location for Batarian patient. A Batarian patient named Gorek is located in a makeshift clinic in the temporary refuge camp, uh, suffering from an undisclosed but severe injuries. Medical staff at Horta Memorial have provided painkillers, but there's no viable long-term treatment because of the Batarian hegemony uh, refuses to share records. No data for Gorek is available. He has to die. Uh, sorry, Huntress weapons permit. Huntress Tagoni is a patient at Horta Memorial. She's currently on stress leave due to a mission in a human colony of Tiptree, where she was forced to kill a human civilian to prevent both of them from being discovered by Reaper forces. Tagoni has repeatedly requested the permit to carry a weapons on the Citadel. The request has been denied because of Tagoni's paranoia and the possibility of self-inflicted harm. Spectre Authority can override security measures and grant Tagoni the right to a firearm. Absolutely not. Uh, surveillance authorization CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Officers have tapped public surveillance feeds but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization could enable CSEC to tap into business feeds without informing civilian agencies. For now, sure. Uh, first, Arun financial report. The financial report is for top-level embassy access only. According to the financial estimates from the First Arun Investment Trust, a division of Elko's Combine, the Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of the war effort for more than one year, although the military spending has stimulated certain market sectors. Shortages and rationing in other areas have de uh, depressed the financial system. Civilian discretionary spending has fallen expect uh, entertainment areas like escapist vids and drinking. First Rune is borrowing heavily to provide funds for key functions across the Citadel, but if the war does not end within the next year, galactic financial collapse is inevitable. Well, we could all die by then. All right. D6 has fielded requests for civilian militia to defend the Citadel. In an event of another attack, many CSEC officers believe the m militia would benefit the Citadel's state of readiness and improve morale, but they lack the funds and clearance for the program. Spectre authorization could allow CSEC to begin training civilian volunteers using funds normally allocated to executive bonuses. Absolutely. Medical supplies. Originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. The supplies are currently in lockdown in the docks, but can be released to Horta Memorial under Spectre Authority. Let's go. Okay, so we've authorized basically everything except for giving that one Asari a gun. Yeah, no gun for the Asari. Uh, console, okay, that's in the hospital. We've talked to everyone. We talked to Liara. Conrad, James, Kelly, okay. Let us go authorize the supplies of the hospital. Then we have to head back to the Normandy. And I have so much scanning to do because everyone just keeps dropping stuff on us. And I think that's pretty much what we have to do. As far as stuff that's on our plate right now, I actually need to open the journal. Now I will do that. Where's the console? Okay, it's somewhere in one of the second labs. And I have to go check the war assets because those keep changing as well. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Sure, give me a second. Okay, we have a console back at the Normandy dock. Okay. Are 
inspector status recognized. One moment, please. Oh, yeah. When I get out of the elevator, gotta remember to open the journal. Just to make sure that there's nothing else to do on the Citadel besides what we're doing right now. That's not it. It's this. Okay. Oh, so much to read. Okay. Citadel. Aria. We'll get there. Uh, this is what we're doing now. Cipher to break. Find the ciphers and deliver them. Okay. Uh, find a sample of the toxin. Deliver it. Got you. Find a treatment plan and deliver it. Got it. Uh, we got fossils to find. Got it. Metagel sabotage. Find the dispensers and repair them. Okay, we need to go back to the refugee camp and do that. Reaper code fragment. Find tech. These are all scans. Okay. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. You could be. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Uh. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. All right. All right, so the console is already where we want to go, the holding area. All right, let's find those tampered Metagel dispensers. Spectre status recognized. Get this console. And then I will go scanning because I'm guessing the other stuff that doesn't have an exact system I need to be looking in the stuff that we're going to be finding on missions. Alright. On the lookout for Metagel dispensers. That's food. Metagel, Metagel, Metagel. Reaper forces continue their assault on Asari space. Here we go. Okay, now we can talk to that doctor. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Okay. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Conrad. <laughs> Get shot, did he? Did he? Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. Oh, yeah. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? Yeah, it did. You, you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. <laughs> oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. All right. Please take down that shrine. <laughs> oh, Conrad. 
And we ran back into Jenna. These refugees have no place to go. Oh, so many things from the first game are popping back up, and I love it. Actually, Jenna? Yeah, Jenna was first game because Chore is done. Where is that console? Okay. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Really? In front of all these people? Shepard. Balak. Balak. Oh, it's been you a while. You killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I've been waiting for this, too. I was really upset I had to let you go. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The yeah. ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I don't think that's necessarily my fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have Fatable. you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. Or, or, you could be helpful. See if this actually works. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. Oh. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Okay, we have a Batarian fleet. Oh, I have so many war assets to check in on right now. That went better than I expected. Oh, Is there anything else that we have to check in on? Oh, didn't mean to do that while we're here. The Ara, Edie, Aria, Joker, Commander Bailey. Okay, we should be good to head back to the ship. That did not go as expected. I didn't expect to see Balak again. This episode is full of Mass Effect 1 details, and I love it. Oh, so many callbacks. Okay, the easiest is just go to the Normandy dock and then take rapid transit there. I love this episode. So much has happened in such a short amount of time. We saw Conrad again. I wasn't now exactly happy about that, but... Who would have thought he would have studied dark matter? Ash! Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Udina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. Yeah. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. Well, that'll be the first and last time I wave a gun at my commanding officer. We stopped <laughs> Udina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? 
It's hard to say. Mm. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know, but we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett okay. asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Come home, please. Permission granted, Lieutenant. Just keep your gun pointed at the Reapers, okay? I'd prefer it, thanks. Grab your gear and find a bunk, Williams. Aww. Aye, aye, Captain. And Ash. Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, ma'am. Ah, yay, okay. I am very happy now. Ash is home. We lost Thane. I have come to terms with the fact that Thane was going to die, though. So it didn't hit me as hard as Morden. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. Mm -hmm. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? You know Your him? assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. Always confirm your kills. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. He wants Lang to help? has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly. Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Good. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, mm. how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Gotcha. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And Aquarians are willing to talk. Oh. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. So we're finally getting to this. Shepard, do you have a moment? Yep. A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Oh, so much to do. Okay. Let me check out a terminal. All right, I found the Volus Dreadnought, so we, now we have that. All right, the Batarian fleet. Once formal Batarian navy was all but annihilated when the Reapers attacked Karshan. The enraged survivors have gathered into a single remaining fleet. Batarian refugees are enlisting by the thousands, desperate for a sense of purpose after the destruction of their homeworld. No collection of vessels is more eager to engage the Reapers than Karshan's last warships. Good, okay. This is the one that has changed multiple times in this short duration of this episode. Council created a Citadel Defense Force to support Shepard in the war against the Reapers. The CDF includes ships, soldiers from every council race, 
Complements from the few species without official membership status have also quietly joined. Um, after the attempted coup, no offer of assistance is being turned. Okay. G's on the Citadel depleted resources that might have otherwise gone to defense systems and personnel. Okay, this sets at 105. Uh, civilians volunteering at emergency clinics help save lives by processing patients, assisting doctors, and taking some of the burden off of the Citadel's overtaxed medical staff. Warning people on the Citadel to prepare for war has improved civilian readiness. A con artist exploiting refugees was thrown off the Citadel security and proved on the docks as a result. Spectre authorization released medical supplies from Custons to Horta Memorial, improving the quality of patient care. A Spectre gave CSEC permission to tap into surveillance on privatized citizens. CSEC used the footage to make several arrests, improving security. CSEC was authorized to train civilian militia, strengthening the defense forces. Housing was found for students from Grissom Academy, too young to work on the Prothean device. These gifted teenagers have been helping, however, by dealing with any repetitive problems that can't be delegated to VIs. Awesome. CSEC is focusing on smaller crimes and misdemeanors. This has spread their forces thin, increasing efficiency when dealing with larger threats. What? Am I reading this wrong? I thought when we were in CSEC and it was the Asari and the human that were arguing, we sided with the Asari who wanted to just focus on leaving the smaller crimes alone and focusing on terrorist-related issues. I definitely clicked on that, right? Because the human was upset that um, we would be letting smaller crimes go and is basically causing some form of unrest by not keeping up with it. This is weird. Okay, I don't know what to do about this. I thought we decided to leave smaller crimes and misdemeanors alone and focus on just finding terrorists. Okay. Um, after reassurances that keeping money in the bank is critical to the war effort, Volus merchants are making donations to relief efforts and defense forces on the Citadel. Schematics recovered by Commander Shepard are helping CSEC easily locate and shut down active turrets left by servers on the Citadel. Schematics of advanced biotic amplifiers from Grissom Academy increase the endurance of the Asari under fire. The Book of Plenix declares that every Volus must aid those in need during times of want. News of the book's recovery inspired many Volus citizens to donate generous amounts to Citadel charities and the Defense Fund. Yeah, I definitely remember doing all of this except for focusing on smaller crimes and misdemeanors. I don't know what happened there. Because we were going to focus on finding the terrorists. Okay, I guess I have to leave that alone. Uh, sorry. Okay, we have the science team. Uh, respected scientists have used their long lifespans to become leading experts in their fields. Asari scholars often gain perspective on how cultural shifts affect society, grasping the larger contextual forces behind new proposals and using this to springboard into hypotheses years ahead of their time. Uh, working on the Crucible consists of some of the keenest scientific mavericks in the galaxy eager to contribute to its instruction. Okay. Uh, second is normally dispatched to protect colonies from pirate raids or mercenary activity. Second fleet fighter squadrons are intensely competitive, racing to break new records set by other teams, but unquestionably loyal to each other in a fight. Good to know. Oh, update. A group of Asari mercenaries sent by the matriarch friend of the commander have volunteered their services. They'll ride with the second fleet deployed into combat zones if required. Aw, thank you, Athita. All right, Sixth Fleet, more dreadnoughts than any other collection of ships in the Asari Navy. Uh, superstitious dread has grown around its interest into conflict, as any war with the fleet has never remained small. It was the Sixth Fleet that flew against the Rachni in the beginning of the Rachni Wars, and it is the Sixth Fleet that liberated the first colony under siege in the Krogan Rebellions. Unfairly or not, its service people have a reputation for being somber, serious, and humorless. Never left the Sixth Fleet is welcome any site for any ally. Okay. Uh, the Destiny Ascension, flagship of the Citadel Fleet, a powerful Asari dreadnought unlike any other vessel in the galaxy, uh, captained by the matriarch Linanda, Linanya, okay. 
da 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 battle of the citadel but was crippled uh by attacking the geth alliance fleets came in taking heavy fire but saving the ascension and the council from destruction the asari have repaired and upgraded the dreadnought shielding and firepower committing the formidable ship to the fight against the reapers okay the neural map we found that a while ago crucible okay we found volus fabrication units the volus engineering team uh, the array, we found that. The Exogeny scientists found these guys on Pharos. Exogeny Corporation helped fund colonies all over the galaxy in exchange for a share in any natural resources found by the settlers. Zeus Hope was one of their richest claims. The colonists were obligated to turn over any Prothean discoveries in the ancient ruins of Pharos. A team of exogeny scientists studying a few scraps of Prothean material found around Zeus Hope have become experts in their own right, contributing their knowledge to the Crucible. Okay, this doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology is a lengthy but intriguing argument that dark energy causes a minute but empirically observational difference in the passage of time. Hotly debated when first published, the paper's theory is supported by recent data. The dissertation illuminates several instructions left by the Protheons on how to build the Crucible. Dr. Werner found additional schematics useful in the creation of the device. After passing the data onto the Alliance, he aided Commander Shepard in the dissertation's list of acknowledgments. He added Commander Shepard. Dr. Conrad Werner. After all the crap he put us through, I'm just happy that he's helpful, even if it is by five points. You know what, we'll take anything. Okay, Advanced Fighter Squadron. Uh, da -da -da, squadron of Advanced Fighter Ships was liberated from service forces on Novaria. Fast, agile, and remarkably fuel efficient. These one person spacecrafts pack surprisingly heavy firepower for their size. After the Alliance installed their own VI programs and swept for hidden bugs or transmission signals, they repainted the fighters and pressed them into service. Awesome! Uh, Alliance Rear Admiral once unfairly dismissed the Salarian. The Third Fleet is nothing more than an overabundance of spy planes. While the Salarians rely heavily on gathering intelligence in any war, the Third Fleet's firepower is comparable to any other major naval force. The vessels use the latest Guardian defense systems. The improved tracking algorithms to handle a greater number of projectiles than older models. Even scouting flotillas have been armed with hull-mounted uh, Thanix cannons. Okay, now that their egg clutches, oh, this did, okay. Now that their egg clutches are out of danger, the Salarian colony of Sinequal is shipping all the materials and weapons it can muster to the third fleet. Okay, so that tiny thing might've helped a lot. Sixth fleet, okay. Seventh fleet, update, crates of, have been shipped out to the Turian fleet, resupply, will help the Turian medics, okay, heal potential fatal wounds. Uh, recovering the legendary banner of the first... Okay, we've done that a while ago. All right, 4834. Still got a long way to go, but we are sitting pretty for the most part. And I'm guessing by Hackett saying that the Crucible's 50% done, that we're at least at the 50% mark for getting close. I know. Medina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. I agree. I like you guys. I always like the crew members that gossip. It gives me something else to focus on when I'm walking through the ship. Man, I really miss Hawthorne and that other guy. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. Hopefully. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? <laughs> something about leather seats. I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream and evil. <laughs> the important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Be nice, we like Ash. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, <laughs> nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Maybe not, but at least she's home. Commander. We can mend our relationships. Hello, Shepard. Hey, What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. I like that idea. That's not a bad idea. That was a joke. 
I'm sorry, <laughs> Shepard. I was contemplating. How to make the it Reapers work? The are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. Mm. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Okay. Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Whatever you want it to be. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Gep and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. All right. It appears many humans did in fact do so. Oh, that was that quick. Was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take sure. some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Okay, I don't know what changes this is making, but you know what, as long as she's happy. Oh, defense matrix unlocked. Are you and Ashley okay? The last time she saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed her of the situation. She is taking it well. Good. Good. Hello, Shepard. Yeah, that Reaper did lose to the Alaskan Bullworm. But that's okay. We need a gun that fires Thresher Maj. You know what? I don't take that as a joke. I take it as a suggestion. We just had to figure it out. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Anything for you, trainer. Commander, I realize there's a lot happening right now, but I found something you need to see. What Shall have you we... got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Okay. That'd be a good idea. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Oh. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. Mm -hmm. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Anything for you. Commander. All right, let's read our emails. As we... Oh my god, so many emails. Game night from... Oh, trainer. Thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. Um, I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games. Okay, Kelly 2.0. I'm down. All right, Cinder blocked. Dear Shepard, changing my identity was good advice. So once again, you saved my life. Oh, Kelly. Okay, after we last spoke, I overheard some refugees mention Cerberus. Then they said my name. I freaked out until I recognized their voices. Close friends of mine who defected in disguise and on the run just like me. They are talented engineer Shepard who could help with the war effort. I've attached contact information to forward to whoever could use their help. Uh, you can trust them. Aw, Kelly, I miss you too. Citadel interview your cabin. 
than Allers. The networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so to talk with you about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so that we don't get interrupted. I've heard you know the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Okay, we might as well give her the interview. Never lose hope. Aw, oh, Thane! How dare you hit me with this? See, ha, huh? I write this with a heavy hand, knowing you will read this letter when I'm no longer available to share my thoughts. I'm dying, see, ha, huh? perhaps because of the differences between our species. I can hope that time will treat you with the kindness and dim the hurt of my passing to faded recollections of the a drill that would forever remember with perfect clarity. Selfishly, however, I could not leave this world without leaving a piece of me behind that would never fade. I once accepted my fate, nothing remained but a shell destined to die. I only had to choose the when and how of my passing. I had refused to be confined to a bed, gasping horribly as my life beeped away from the machinery I had no use for. I thought of my Erika. Erika? Was that her name? Broken, bloodied, and betrayed by my absence and of Koliath. Small and afraid, bravely pushing at his eyes to stem the flow of his tears, I had entrusted him to cry for the both of our sakes. The expectation to move swiftly to my end vanished upon uniting with your cause, you awoke me, Shepherd. My heart quickened its sluggish beat, if only to remain at your side and protect you with everything I am. I was content to simply watch and take the time left given and praise all I know for allowing me to walk my final days with hope and certainty that I am worthy of more than my cold isolation solely because you believed. I love you. If all else whispers back into the tide, know that's for a fact. By giving grace, by ge grace given to me by the goddess Arashu, I bid her divine protection to you, my warrior angel, my Siha, to succeed your destiny, to light your path through the coming darkness, to give you hope, and when all seems lost, I will await you across the sea, Thane. Okay, this message was also in the Shadow Broker Terminal in the second game, so I've already read it once. I guess he like had it and was had it on like a timer for when he was going to die. Oh, uh, Jack. Okay. Students are kicking ass and taking names. Uh, they're keeping them on a short rotation so they don't burn out. So we end up lots of shore leave. Next time you hit up the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the fields. Jack. Okay. So we've already went to see Jack. New article on Cerberus. Okay. Elysium. An evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium was reported saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's uh, evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Oh, okay. Their shuttle was saved by a biotic identified by authorities as a rush. Oh, wait a minute. This was the guy that was Jack's loyalty mission. He was also a part of the children's biotic program that uh, Cerberus was running. We let him go because I originally thought that he was going to die in the explosion. Okay. Engage Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. A rush had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity. Claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragia as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Aww. I guess it's not a bad thing we let him go. I feel bad now that my whole motivation for letting him go was that I thought he was going to die in an explosion. Okay, good on you, Arash. All right, the Durlesh Mole. This is from Victus. All right, Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew of the cruiser's position was the Volus Ambassador Din. Oh, I remember you. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out on his head. My advisors insist that I can't bring these accusers against Korlak myself, these accusations against Din myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and the Volus economics are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for political crisis that would result. 
Um, but the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask you to investigate Din in your capacity as a specter and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I forwarded information to his last location to the specter office on the Citadel regards Primarch. I remember this guy, if I'm correct. It is the Bolas ambassador from the very first game that hated our guts for like no good reason. I mean, he had plenty of reasons on his own to like dislike humanity for being like the upstarts, but he disliked us personally. So you know what? If he turns out to be a mole, we're gonna kill him. Wait a minute from James Vega. Okay, just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat Vega. Everyone wants to see us. Okay, this is from Hackett. As promised, here's what we have on Kai Lang. Uh, okay. Doors of Duty, 20 Terminus Systems Patrol and Reconnaissance. Okay, Alliance Military Enlistment. He enlisted at 16 credentials fate. What? Okay, Exodus Cluster Patrol and Reconnaissance. Recommended for taking medals from dead enemy officers. Uh, sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record. Okay, he was part of a raid recommended uh, for the Systems Alliance Medal of Valor. Kite's Nest Tactical Reconnaissance accepted an Interplanetary Combatives Academy. Uh, received N7 designation from the uh, Combatives Academy. Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned uh, first degree murder. Okay, Intel on Kai Lang's activities after joining Cerberus is spotty. What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Lang's escape from prison, employing him as an operative for the next 10 years. Lang is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent, working as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus Phantom Class implants. Okay, more about the Phantom Class. Alright, priority shore leave. Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy to dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive. So let's get your crew out of here. You've, uh, you're have you all on shore leave and that's an order. We need everybody at their best. One thing, Admiral Anderson is, has an apartment in the wards. Head over there when you arrive. It's a nice place. Okay. Um, I heard from many people, including my friend, that I need to leave this alone for a little while. So I'm going to do that and just focus on my missions and catching up with everybody who needs to talk to us. Because everybody apparently needs to see us in one capacity or another. Okay. We need to just head down to Crew Deck and do a run of everybody and while we're still docked at the citadel we do need to head back in and look at that oh we do need to head back in and look at the specter computer for what uh the primark asked for us oh and there he is at the bottom oh thane this one doesn't hit as hard because i've already accepted that he was going to die and it doesn't bring me the same shock and sadness that morden did what you up to, buddy? Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. You got a little mm. tense there? If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? On Ash? I would hope I wouldn't have to. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Kate. Let's hope mm -hmm. he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. He is. I know. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. I gave Caden a lot of crap, but honestly, I wish I had gotten to know him more because there wasn't really much to talk to him about in the very first game. Okay, Ashley is in starboard observation, and I'm sure if I had kept him around, I would have felt closer to him like I do to Ash. How you Good doing? Good to see you. Nothing Good really? Good to see you. Alright, make yourself at home. This used to be Samara's room. I miss her too. Let's go check out the medical bay that's not the same without Morden here. May I speak with you, Commander? Always. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. 
What's okay. going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Oh, uh, why me? Why can't you do Isn't it? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these uh, refugees true. are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll get right on I'll it. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Awesome. Yeah, we'll get right on that. Anything else? It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. It would help all involved okay. if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Medical bay is not the same. Ah, he just wanted to study seashells. Your orders. I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. <laughs> and it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. My shadow broker always at work. Anything new that I have to do? Yes. Okay, Bullis Intelligent Archives. Solarian Special Task Force appears to have approached the Bull uh, Protectorate about co-developing combat implants that require rare elements found in Bullis space. The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit them to non-Solarian species should it be a uh, sufficiently profitable venture. One of these upgrades could be commissioned, although it is constructed, would be time consuming and must be custom made. Okay, hold up. We got power damage and health. Power damage, always. Always go for damage. Perhaps we can talk later. Okay, I'm gonna read your stuff. Audio recording from Counselor Guy Jor's Senate office. Okay, Secretary Phillips, uh, the emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get there. Not with the prices their captains are asking for, Counselor. What about the military, Secretary? They left an hour ago. They said they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here, Secretary. This is the passkey, sir, and an inventory. Councillor Phillips, I'm authorizing you on behalf of the city senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. Secretary, these look like private stockpiles, Senate member stockpiles. Councillor, I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Aw, okay, I respect that. At your service. Bye, Glyph. I respect that choice. Okay. Our engineers, we still have to go up to our room, talk to Allers, give her her interview, hang out with Trainer. Gotta go see James and Cortez. Alright, as always, let's start with the Prothean. Well, not always. I do a different little cycle each time. How you doing, Prothe? Traitors are the worst form of enemy. I in agree. our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far <laughs> worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. Okay. I would like to visit the Citadel sometime. And when it is not you. infested with traitors. Dude, he never got to see the Citadel! I have heard about the Kyleng human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy. I will enjoy killing most. Agreed! Okay, Prothe's coming with us. Yes. Alright, Prothe the Prothean. We're gonna kill Lang. Uh, is everyone where they're supposed to be? Yes. How you guys doing? My board is green. Shepard. Nothing to report, Commander. All right, our engineers are good. 
Uh, Allers said that she wanted to meet us in the cabin, now, but let's see. Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Yeah, sure thing. I got no problem giving Allers her interview. I would prefer if it had been with Emily, but no, she got killed off camera. I'm still upset about that one, if you can't tell. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. Mm. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Yeah, hopefully we built up enough goodwill on our own to kind of overlook that him. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kodiak. All you did was drop us off and bug her out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time, and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah. Next time, park it and come join the party, Esteban. So does James have different dialogue with Cortez if we take James on missions? Because I like their banter. Good to see you, Commander. Oh, yeah, and James wanted to see us. What's up, James? Hey, Commander. I knew Odina was a dirty bastard, mm -hmm. but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole mm. war's loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Yeah, just be careful with that one. We're having to play nice. Hey. All right, was that what you needed to talk about? Uh, we might have to see him in the cabin. Actually, that's what the journal's for. Oh my god, so much stuff. So much stuff has popped up. So much stuff in so little time. Actually, we have all the time in the world. Oh, and I have to go and redo codex entries, because more stuff has popped up. Okay. Captain's cabin. We'll talk to Allers. We'll see if James needs to talk to us in the cabin. Invite. That's still amusing. Okay, so we can invite Trainer. Do we have to do them one after the other in a sequence? Anything changed? Yeah. Hi, right, fishies. Where's my jellyfish? Oh, look at them! My little jellies! One day, you guys will see me get a jellyfish tank for my setup. When I actually go to do, like, a hardcore setup, I'm getting a jellyfish tank one way or another. It's gonna happen. I need one. It's for my mental health, okay? Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? We really don't have a few hours free, if you want to be honest. Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Thank you. Look at my fish oh, tank. An actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event... I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. GUI interface. Not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. How about a shower? That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well, just... Give me a moment to grab my things. Thane's not even in the ground yet. Actually, I don't know how uh, they bury their dead, so... Oh. I'm just gonna watch. Okay. <laughs> uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. The clasped hands. Mm. Oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice for somebody. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I played for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. Ooh. Oh, I'm tempted, but the game's pushing us towards Liara. Ah, I kind of want to explore the romance option with Liara if it's possible. You know what? 
We missed our chance to romance Liara in the past two games. Let's not miss it this time. Well, good luck. Holler if you need anything. Oh, will do. Thanks again, Shepard. I love no you, problem. trainer. Take as long as you like. I'm sorry. And don't think this saves you from our chess match. <laughs> Just give me a minute to dry my hair. She's gonna wreck us. I'm okay at chess, but I'm not great. Ha! Oh, come on. <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, <laughs> in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. True. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. Honey, no, that's not how you play chess. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? There's not really one much is of an one. unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. <laughs> Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. She's gonna start betting money on this and we're gonna lose. We're gonna romance Liara. I have resigned myself to that. Also because I want to, not even resign myself to it. Like, I would like to explore that. I'm talking like Thane just didn't just die. But I've come to terms with that. That man way surpassed how long I thought he was gonna live, actually. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. All right, Allers. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Hit me with the questions. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? I mean, they did fail, but I was also thinking about that too. The Citadel's a massive place, but uh, I guess Cerberus had the resources. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Oh, then there's the hard Thanks questions. Thanks for time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. <laughs> oh, now I can... What is up with all these options all of a sudden? Uh, we can just flirt with her, right? Be nice and funny about it. Because I don't want to be mean to her. I mean, Allers, I have no reason to dislike her. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. All right, later, Allers. Why'd the camera get that close? Oh, so many options, so little time. And now James can talk to us. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Come on up, Vega. On my way. Don't tell me he's gonna let us hey, flirt with James, too. Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Lola. What's up? I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. All right, hit me. Shoot. What'd you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? 
I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound mm. too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. A lot of kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. What happened? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. Mm. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You did what you could. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Yep. You deserve it. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. No of problem. Not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a <laughs> lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? Nah. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Thanks again. Shepard. I love this guy. Anytime. He reminds me of a very good friend of mine, and that's why I think I'm so attached to him. Oh, I can get Carnage now. Also, I need to go, um, we definitely need to go and help out with the Omega issue. Because there's apparently a power attached to that that is very fun. That's gonna be a very long episode, but... Does he have something to say to me, or does he just want to act like Commander. I called him for no good reason? All right, apparently Anderson's in the comm room. So let's go check this out really quick, and then I will be ending the episode to go on another scanning trip. A long scanning trip. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Oh, that was hacking. Putting at the my own academy you. training to use, organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Hey. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. It's good to hear. I know what that's like fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate. That was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. That's concerning. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. 
And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. I'm not impressed by anyone that uses a sword in space. You're just trying to look cool. Alright. Did we pick up a couple more? Yeah, a couple things changed. Okay. 103rd. Uh, biotic students. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about the attempt to take over of the Citadel noted Cerberus's tactical missteps, which improved the morale of Alliance ground forces. Awesome. Oh, these are Kelly's friends. Kelly contacted several former Cerberus engineers, convincing them as a way to make up for their mistakes, to come out of hiding and help build the Crucible. Appalled at how Cerberus has turned on humanity, these Cerberus deserters have thrown themselves into their new task with a passion. Okay, awesome. What are we sitting at now? All right. 48, 49. Oh, we have so much to do. We do have to head back to the Citadel. Check in on Ambassador Din. Never thought I'd hear from him again. And let's check our... Kelly? Not Kelly. I'm sorry, trainer. Do I have mail? Okay. Got Kelly on my mind because she contacted us. Uh, so many new things have probably opened up. I'm just going to take a quick look. Okay, there's been a little bit of a change. Nimbus cluster. I don't think there was anything in Horsehead. Far Rim, we have to go see the Quarians again. Everything else going on, that slipped my mind for a second. The Valhalla thresholds. Hopefully we'll get to see Tally again. Okay, the Athena. All right, might put some of that off for a short duration because I do want to go and what am I doing? Um, do want to go and help Arya with her stuff on Omega? Go ahead and get that out of the way. Clear up that storyline. Clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, let's head to the embassies really I need to quick. Get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Okay, that was a sudden insert from Edie. We do have to head to the docking area. I was going to end the episode, but then I was like, eh, I might as well do this really quick. Wait, what? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Want to guess why? Oh, my. They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah. Your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. Yeah, that is a rough situation. And I'm guessing her wife's family's on Thessia, so trying to get the kid there really isn't much of an option. Alright. We... Anything in this terminal? Yes. Okay. Let's locate Din. A biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was in an office suite near the human embassy. Okay, near the human embassy office suite. Uh, okay, we haven't missed anything. Wait, 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 wait. Power recharge speed at 10%. Rifle concentration mod. Increases damage, speed perception, enhancing aim for a brief time. Extended barrel. Okay. Alright, office suite. Near the human embassy. Most likely in that direction. Let me look around. Den, where you at, buddy?
I hate that we can't go inside Udina's office. If anyone should be allowed to, it should be us. Oh, we have so many pickup missions to do. Oh, embassy guard. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. All right, let me in. Entry one. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. Mm. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. Ah. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Okay. What are you? Oh. Din's dead. Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You're gonna go about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said. Okay. Let's go catch up with our old friend. Please forward all traffic from the human embassy to the assault. I'm taking this. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. Okay. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Okay, did not expect to see Zaid again, but I mean, we're seeing everybody this episode. Hopefully he's not too mad about no, us, uh... Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? When... Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name, all of a sudden? Good question. Don't worry, I'm a coming. Is it this way or was it the other way? Wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. 
shit. All right, I'm listening. Oh, been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. <laughs> I'm disciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlock? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those marks hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus <laughs> bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Really? Or you could give us both. Yeah. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You know what? I want both. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to mm -hmm. help us make Cerberus pay for using you. Mm -hmm. I can't. I will hit you. you. Not above it. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. Thank you. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You do that. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. I know. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch okay, up with me at the docks if you like. Alright. Well, Zaid's in town. Uh, da, da, da. I wonder if Liara has anything new to say to us. She should be somewhere over here now. Hello, Shepard. Okay, nothing new. Now with that, we have to... Okay. Definitely have to head to the cargo area. Arya and Edie, Bailey... Okay. The main thing we have to do now is head to the docking area where the refugees are, catch up with Zaid, and meet with the de facto refugee leader about doing a trade for that medical supplies. Spectre status recognized. And hopefully with all of this done, we can safely start Arya's Omega mission. Now arriving at docking bay E24, emergency civilian housing. Tactus is over with Kelly and Zaid is with James. There he is. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. 
CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwis spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. Mm. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Well, what you need? Take ours as a gift, you should reconsider. Just trade. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Awesome. Thank you, Tactus. All right, Zaid, you over here playing poker? No, and James is gone. Oh, they moved to Cargo C. My bad. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ah, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. Okay. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, right. I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? How'd I, how'd I get wrapped into this? I'm flattered. But I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Okay. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Yeah, hey, you're getting tattooed. I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. <laughs> you gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matching. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. <laughs> nah. You're such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just... <laughs> I didn't mean to... You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! See? Okay. Are you really just gonna get an N7 tattoo? It's not even official. All right. Have fun there, buddy. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Now he's a war asset? I wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what, I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Thank you. Do you know you. the current leader of the Suns? Vosk, don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. <laughs> we couldn't boot him from the Suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Vosk? All right. Don't remind me. Well, I'll leave you to it, to Eve. James, don't get an infection or something. Our team. Very interesting people. At least we got Zaid back, technically. I mean, he's a war asset now. So with that done, let me double check this map. Okay, we should be good. 
We are gonna head... Do I need to head back to the ship right now? I need to read the codex is the first thing I need to do, because a lot of new things have popped up. And I actually think, is there an now entry? At docking bay D20. Give me one second. Journal. I need people. Known associates. Dr. Morden Solis is a master geneticist and this. former operative for the Solarian Special. Dr. Okay. Uh... It may be the Crucible. Mars Jellix, the second I've planet read a couple in of the Arai these. system, is a marginally habitable world of mountains. I do listen to the planet ones when I'm off camera. I don't know why it's interesting. It just is. Phantoms. Ray, particular specialization in invasive maneuvers and firing from cover. Although intelligence on their implants still evades, the Alliance Phantoms are known to be able to create a personal barrier for great protection. Uh, monomolecular blades and biotic shielding allow Phantoms to engage close quarters. I hate these things already. The Alliance recommends personal confirmation of a Phantom's death. I can do that. Okay. I am going to read through all of this. Um, probably head back to the ship and start my scans, because we have so many things to scan. I'm probably going to pick up a lot of items that have to be brought back to the Citadel and handed off to people. So that's most likely where we're going to... Oh yeah, because we have those things for her. Alright, let's go talk to Shockwiz because we were able to make the trade. Um, probably going to pick up a lot of things in space that have to be brought back to people on the Citadel. So that's more than likely going to be where we come back. And then we can go ahead and start Arya's Omega mission. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Okay. We have stuff to do with Glyph. Excellent find, Commander. In All right, Glyph. Heal scars? No. Health increase. We don't have any scars. Cuz we're just that good. The terminal has been updated. Okay. We have no scars, so to speak of. All right, let's head back to the map. I need to go on my scanning, so when we come back, I'll have tried to have scanned pretty much everything I can. Do I have mail? My light's not blinking. I always feel the need to double check, though. All right, sorry, right. I don't trust you, trainer. Okay, so I'm going to leave off here. So much happened this episode. Citadel got attacked. So many callbacks to the first game that I'm actually really happy to see that those choices that we made in the first game actually meant something. Ran into so many old friends. Jenna, Conrad, Zaid. I don't really count Conrad. I'm still surprised he's a doctor. I'm gonna have to sit with that one for a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you'll join me again and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Bye.